Welcome to this episode of Our College of Voices. I am your host, Kara Monroe. Ivy Tech has a holistic approach to supporting learning, which includes helping our students to succeed in their courses. Tutoring is an important part of that support. We offer tutoring both on our campuses and through a partnership with Tutor.com. Today, we're going to talk about campus tutoring services offered throughout the state and the various ways students can receive the support they need at a campus level, as well as some of the options provided by Tutor.com. All right, let's meet our panel. First up is Tracy Bryan. Tracy, welcome. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about what you do and your connection to tutoring. I I wear a couple different hats here at the Valparaiso campus, but I am first and foremost a faculty member. I teach English, but I also am a department chair for our student success classes. And then I am also the tutoring resource coordinator for the Valparaiso and Michigan City location. Wonderful. Tracy, I'm really glad to have you. Next up is Gwen Eldridge. Gwen, welcome back to the podcast. Hey, good afternoon, Kara. Happy to be here. Good. Remind folks of your role with the college and your connection to tutoring. Yeah, I am an assistant VP of academic affairs in the systems office, work in the provost's office. And one of my responsibilities that I love is working with the statewide tutoring group. So we're going to tell you some about their great work that they're doing today. Awesome. And next up is Madison Gunkel. Hi, Madison. Hi. Thank you so much for having me, Kara. I work with Tutor.com in addition to my role as the executive director um, with Instructional Design Services, which is part of Ivy Online. So we kind of facilitate that relationship with Tutor.com, work with them to get uh, some new courses added as the demand or interest exists um, so that we can help support our students both online and in person. Excellent. And last but not least is Tim Tappen. Hi, Tim. Hi. I'm out of Fort Wayne, and uh, I think my favorite hat, as we all wear some of them, my favorite hat is doing the, the supporting the tutoring. So I'm the director of academic resources here in Fort Wayne and work with the Center for Academic Excellence, which is our tutoring department here. Excellent. I love that uh, name. I think Fort Wayne is the only campus that has that Center for Academic Excellence, but I think that's such a a cool name for a tutoring center. Thank you very much. um, Oh, you're welcome. Let's dive into the conversation. I've got a bunch of questions I want to talk to you about because I think just from the questions that I get from the Thursday emails, tutoring is one of those things that our faculty and staff, some of them really do understand well, but many of them have a lot of questions. And so I think this is something that a lot of folks are going to find really interesting. So let's start at a high level from your perspective as the experts on tutoring in the college What are the benefits of students using tutoring services? One of the benefits is that we have experts, including uh, tutoring staff, as well as faculty that work with students in the different subject areas. And you'll hear more about this later, but really establish relationships with students and, and start to understand what are their needs. Um, Another thing that's great about tutoring at Ivy Tech is we have centers at every campus But what's really new for this group and and evolving is they're working collaboratively together. And and again, you'll hear a a specific instance of this, but they're working collaboratively together to provide the specific support that the students need, regardless of what campus they're on. You know, we talk a lot about this at our statewide tutoring group, which uh, Gwen mentioned. I I really think at at the campus level, we just we love the connection and the relationship that kind of powers student success you know we hear things about how uh how that matters to students and and it's not just the ones that are coming uh into the center even though that's been a while but especially the online support um has been a big deal uh since we've uh, been closed or relatively closed during the pandemic Something that we hear a lot from our students that use tutor.com in their survey after they complete a tutoring session is that it's so beneficial for them to have an option that is available when they need help. A lot of our students choose to work in the evenings or on the weekends when those in-person tutoring services at their campus may not be available. So by having an online tutoring service that can meet students where they are when they're ready is great to make sure that we're accommodating our various types of learners that we see at the college. 
And that's something that we've heard that since we've gone virtual, we've had more students that have been able to outreach to us as well. And so it's been more about that relationship building and it's been interesting to see. So we've got the convenience factor that we now have. Also, we've got that time frame with the tutor.com, but then we also have that option for students that want to deal with someone at their campus. So it's really beneficial to, to make sure that we're getting multiple types of learners facing multiple types of needs. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, numbers out there. Um, I know Madison collects the the results and things that happen through tutor.com. I know on a, on a local level, you know, that partnership with instructors is huge. Um, we know the classes that they're teaching in the curriculum. Uh, so we're used to seeing particular assignments. Um, and, the, you know, the tutors are like, okay, we, we know this one and can kind of provide a little personal guidance. In terms of numbers, I think, you know, most of what we see is that students average pretty much a grade higher than students who don't when they use uh, tutoring. And I think even more important, it's some of those critical classes, those ones that can stop somebody from graduating, stop them from completing uh, their program that we find the most pleasure or excitement in uh, and seeing them be successful in, in passing those. Yeah. We also know that we get such a diverse group of students that some students may come into taking a class and have a lot of background information on the topics being covered, and some students may not have that. And so tutoring services kind of equals the playing field to help meet those students where they're at with their conceptual understandings of the course's topics, and then get them that support that they need to then be successful in their courses. Yeah, that's that's really great. Um, and our statewide group kind of because we're talking a lot more, I think we've kind of come up with this mantra that, you know, there's really there's this better way to study. You know, there's a better way to learn. And so when our students who are working uh, a lot of them really, really hard, but aren't getting the results that they're looking for, I think that relationship can make them feel safe and uh, help them unlock the door to uh, achieving their goals. Uh, here at Ivy Tech. So let's talk a little bit because you, you've hinted at it um, in some of the answers to that question. And I think if I would let you, y'all would go on with benefits of tutoring. And I think there are for like two hours because there we are might. that many benefits <laughs> of tutoring. And that is okay. okay. We'll do that sometime. We'll do like a, we'll do like a mini outtakes version with that. <laughs> what are the topics and subjects that are covered by tutoring and through tutoring services here at the college? We've taken a look at this with the state reg group and done some addition here. So um, according to my math, which um, I'm actually an English journalism major, so uh, let's, you know, I'm, I'm treading cautiously here. <laughs> over statewide, over 250 courses are what we're looking at. Um, everything from quantitative reasoning to medical surgery, medical surgical nursing, to uh, applied mathematics um, for the technology programs to organic chemistry. Um, so it's, it's really cool. You start to go, oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> so I love the diversity in some of the courses. You're like, I didn't even know that Bloomington or Fort Wayne or Valpo tutored that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, and we see the same type of diversity in courses being offered for tutor.com as well. So tutor.com currently offers um, support for more than 300 courses across all six schools at the college. So, you know, as Tim said, we go from accounting to organic chemistry to coding for cybersecurity or, or for um, software development courses, healthcare information technology, math, psychology, really anything um, and everything that, you know, we see as a need for tutoring services, we've been able to provide in working with tutor.com. Uh, we continue to grow our offerings as well. So if there is an interest in tutoring for a course that is not included, we can work with our partners at tutor.com to get that added. And in addition to course-specific tutoring, um, we also have the ability to offer writing help through their writing center. Mm -hmm. So students can submit a paper um, or an assignment for any course, regardless if it's covered as a course or not, and, and get support on writing. And then we also have support for Microsoft Office programs. So Word, PowerPoint, Excel, all available through tutor.com. 
And those are some of the areas also that we can attest that tutoring on the campus level is helping with as well. We have had multiple students where it's writing across the disciplines where they will come in and they will need help just with writing. And so they may have a paper for psychology, but they're coming in to see someone who can help them with the writing aspects of it. The same thing with we've had students come in with cover letters, with resumes, they've needed assistance in those areas. We've also had students that have come in just because they want to refresh or they need help with knowledge assessment. And so we also have those opportunities available to the students. One of the things that I love is when um, when that, that collaboration comes across both from the local campus and from tutoring.com. So a lot of times what you'll see is um, they'll get feedback on that paper from tutor.com. And that's and that's where it starts, you know, at 2 a.m. when you when you can't call one of our centers uh, at a campus, you've got to have some sort of resource. And, uh, you know, tutor.com mm -hmm. is, is phenomenal with that. And then I've been involved with several ones where they're like they get started there. And then because writing is a process and it's never just one revision, they're coming into the campus and then building on that. And ultimately, uh, their, their writing is stronger. And then they see that in their grades, which I think um, I know we're really appreciative of that partnership. And we've seen that, um, I've seen that in my English classes, a student will do an assignment for tutor.com and then they'll bring it into the campus or vice versa. They'll bring it to the campus and then go to tutor.com because they can't come to the tutoring center at 2 a.m. So of course, mm -hmm. what are they going to do? They're going to get on and they're going to deal with tutor.com. And so I am a firm believer that writing is a collaborative process. And the key there is, again, process. And so utilizing all of these resources together just helps the student overall. And it, it creates a well-rounded learner. I love that. I love that aspect of, you know, it's not one or the other, it's both. And it, it's what meets your needs at that specific time. So I'm going to ask you this question right now, specific to just the time that we're in, um, because I was I was on campus for the first time in a really long time um, earlier this week, and I I saw all the signs for the tutoring center on campus, which is it's kind of sad because I know that's not where they're actually operating at the moment. But how do students access information about campus-based tutoring right now? So the the campus services. We've been able to collaborate with several people at Systems Office, um, Brian Bosma, Justin, Justin Demmer. And so what we have now is kind of this full circle of how do you get to those campus tutoring? So whether it's um, Ivy Learn under the student resources, whether um, it's the public website, you know, ivytech.edu, you can circle around and get to our campus tutoring page. Um, we're going to have something, I believe, pretty soon in my Ivy that helps them get quicker to those resources without so many clicks. And what that page tells you is, is you know, how to get a hold of a tutor in Valpo or how to get a uh, hold of a tutor in Bloomington. And those right there alongside of those, I think, would be some of those things that that uh, you see for tutor.com. So they're they're both right there depending on when the student needs it um, and, and the time that the student needs it. Right now, we do have some of the campus tutoring centers that are slowly coming back. So I can attest to my campus is we are actually um, having sessions on the campus. We just make sure that we have the social distancing. We have, of course, the masks. We have plastic dividers in place. We keep that uh, safe environment. We wipe everything down. But we are actually, for those students who truly need that face-to-face, -face, we are trying to make ourselves available again, slowly coming back. But again, we are coming back. Hey, uh, Tracy, I was hoping you could tell uh, a story, one that, that you know a little something about. So because we're a statewide group now and we're kind of we're doing a better job of collaborating, we have a list of courses that each campus tutors. So when um, Fort Wayne can't tutor a campus, we can look up to see if that, that course is uh, covered by another campus. And so uh, Tracy knows an example about this. And I just um, I thought maybe you could share it because it's kind of cool. Well, I can. It's a personal, a little more personal though. Uh, my son is actually taking classes at Ivy Tech. He's graduating with his associate's degree this semester. I'm very excited if you can't tell, he's a high school student. That is so awesome, Tracy. It is, but the thing is, is, is this semester he was taking his first eight weeks, three classes, and they were all computer-based. Um, he's taking networking one, he's taking cybersecurity and digital forensics. 
And so he wanted, he, he was doing well in the course, but he wanted to know why the teacher's telling him to do these things. He's, he's doing them, but he, he just wanted to know what was going on and why you are supposed to do it this way. And unfortunately, probably a little over a year ago, my cybersecurity tutor left, he got a job and, and went uh, south. And so I have no one at Valparaiso for that right now. So I use the database that we have, that we have as an internal database, so I could look to see which campuses had tutor offerings. And it just so happens Fort Wayne does. So I gave my son the information. He was able to get in contact. He's actually met Tim now online, (laughs) but um, he actually was connected to a tutor over there and was made, what, two or three sessions and was Uh, able to get his questions answered and you know, felt a little bit more comfortable with the yeah. class. He met me and he's still used to tutoring at Fort Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I do love that story. And I love, I, I started in tutoring at the college many moons ago. And I love that you all have now have this sort of list and database of all the tutoring resources across the college. And you're sharing that because that's, that's sort of a dream come true for me for those years. So that's awesome. All right, let's go back to um, the question. Um, and Madison, I think I'll, I'll point to you. Tim alluded to the fact that you can get a lot of these things in the same places, but is there anything else students need to know about accessing tutor.com? Yeah, so tutor.com is actually available to all students in their courses within Ivy Learn. So in their global navigation or in their course navigation menu, it's listed as tutor.com. Um, they can click on that, select the course or the area that they're wishing to receive tutoring services for, and then they're connected with a live tutor. So it's available through our courses. It's also available in our uh, student resource center as well. And Madison, do I remember correctly that if one of my students, if I'm teaching a course and one of my students uses tutor.com, that I can access some information about that session as the instructor? Yeah, so as an instructor, you can go in and review sessions that your students have completed. Um, You can see if a flag has been raised about one of your students, if the tutor was working with one of your students and had concerns about, you know, misconceptions in the course or they were significantly behind on some of the topics, um, they can raise a flag, which is then communicated to that instructor so that they're aware that that student might need some extra support. Um, We also have the ability to pull transcripts of tutoring sessions if an instructor would be interested in seeing that level of detail from a tutoring session that their student had. That's awesome. And Tracy, Tim, and Gwen, I know I've, I think I've heard that tutoring is now a resource in Ivy Advising. Is that correct? Yeah, we have several campuses connecting their um, their tracking system with Ivy Advising and leaving notes for the faculty. The advisors can record notes referring students to tutoring. Actually, Tim, your campuses, you could speak a little bit. Like, yeah, Susan, Susan Hawkins Wilding was was very instrumental in helping kind of connect our uh, software that we use here in Fort Wayne to uh, be able to communicate back into the Starfish application with notes about tutoring sessions, you know, those kind of things. Um, and then in a coordinated effort, she's been instrumental in getting uh, tutoring referrals. So we get flags um, and notifications when an instructor wants some attention for one of their students. And then we pick that up and follow up with the student and let the instructor know what we've done. Uh, so kind of closing the loop, I think, is, is a good way to say that. And I think awesome. this effort, Kara, is kind of like your comment about something you've been wanting for a long time. I think at the campuses, uh, many of us have been wanting this communication that, you know, that connection with faculty and students and tutors and all being able to work together to serve the students. Absolutely. And I think it provides a segue to the next question because I had the, I had the benefit of hearing hearing you all do a presentation for the campus academic officers Mm -hmm. in which you got the question and this question, the presentation was focused mainly on on on-campus tutoring and you got the question about, is this going to sort of eliminate tutor.com at this point? And, and Tim and Tracy, I think, think, I think Tim is the one who started the answer, but you both gave such a beautiful answer to that question. 
And I'd, I'd love to hear how you all think they work in partnership. You sort of hinted at it, but let's focus yeah. on that for a minute. You know, the connection I think is so important. Uh, Madison has, has, you know, gave so much detail in terms of what tutor.com is uh, providing. Um, and then I think we, you know, we've been able to kind of wrap around and, and share more about local tutoring in combination. I think they're, they're so powerful. We have students all over the board, you know, their lives are, they're working really hard. They, you know, we need to meet them where they're at, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. And by Ivy Tech supporting those students in multiple ways, you know, that really shows our commitment as an institution, not just to our students, but to our communities that we serve. Um, you know, this is, this is big picture. You know, this is one of those things where Ivy Tech shows the difference that it can make. And I'm so glad for the partnership. And I think absolutely. that it's, it's absolutely important because we do have those students that can't come into the campus or they can't come, you know, and reach somebody at 2 a.m. And so they need that question answered. They need to have somebody just give a brief look over their paper or they need to have that discussion. So tutor.com has that place where that student needs that help they can then receive that help. And so it's that collaborative effort of understanding, you know, each of us have, you know, each type of tutoring has its place and it has its purpose. And the more students we can reach, the better off our students will be as overall learners, but also as an institution, because we are then letting students know that we're there to support you in any way that we can, and that we're there for you. We are student centered. It's not just Ivy Tech, we're our family, students, faculty, staff, we're a team. We work together to make sure our students are successful. And that's what's the most important. I love that. So I know one of the things that I always used to have to demystify for students is that, that tutoring isn't expensive at Ivy Tech. So um, how much does tutoring cost? Do we have a deal? <laughs> it's, it's, it's free, no well, matter what. And I think that's funny because everybody says it's free and I tell students it's not. And they go, what do you mean? And they say, it's not free. You've already paid for it. Use the service. You've, it's already been put out there for you. And so they kind of chuckle and I say, well, yeah, it's, it's free. If you look at it that way, I said, but this is a resource that's available to you. I said, it's something that you're putting in. So let us help invest in you and and help you to, to be successful. Yeah. I'd like to say, Tracy was right on with using the word investment because clearly the college is investing in our students, whether it's what whatever type of resource it is. Um, And I think that really speaks to the mission of the college. Yeah. And our tutoring services through tutor.com are also free to students. We offer students 25 hours of tutoring through tutor.com every semester. And if a student needs additional time beyond that, Um, We do have an email address where students can send an email to request additional time. So I have heard from many students in our uh, tutor.com surveys that, you know, they they feel like Ivy Tech cares about their success by providing these resources. Um, And it's great that we have so many students that are taking advantage of both tutoring services through tutor.com or at their campus or both. Because as we've said, we want to figure out the best way to meet our students where they're at in that given situation, because that can change from week to week or day to day. Madison, that is a perfect segue to my um, next question, which is uh, because I get the tutor.com monthly report and I love reading it because it cheers me up. Um, But what are students saying about their tutoring experience with tutor.com? And then we'll go over to the campus tutoring side. Yeah, so there are uh, many, many comments to sift through, but if you just were to skim the the report, you start to see things like very helpful, great feedback. I was stuck and this really helped me understand. Um, So we get very positive feedback from our students after they've completed their sessions. And I think that, you know, as we said earlier, For students who just need that kind of reassurance that they're doing something right, maybe they, you know, understand the topics, but they just need that extra guidance. Um, We see that reflected in our tutor.com reports as well. A student saying, you know, I was able to see some errors in my paper that I probably wouldn't have noticed otherwise. 
just helping them, you know, continue and further their knowledge and their understanding of the topics rather than just bringing them back up to the level that they need to be at to be successful. So um, we see, you know, both sides of that, both the remedial and enrichment side of tutoring in our tutor.com comments. It's awesome. Just to kind of echo what, what you were saying, Madison, uh, we do some, some surveys as well. We want to know what those students have to say. And, and so there's, there's those things about, you know, uh, our tutors are passionate um, and, and they care. Um, I think some of the ones that, that really stick out for me, or at least the, the type of one, because there's, you know, you, you kind of lose, there's so many there, is, you know, the kind of thing where I think what you were saying, Madison, that they feel encouraged and that encouragement translates to confidence. Mm -hmm. And so when somebody feels confident, they, they have a sense of independence. In other words, they're, they're, <laughs> they're empowered. And so that's really, I think, the name of the game when we talk about tutoring is, is not helping people, but empowering people. And then that, that. that, yeah, they take that and they do amazing things. And I think that's one of the coolest things about being involved with tutoring at Ivy Tech. I, I've had students in my classes as well as in the tutoring sessions. And my philosophy is that if you give a man a fish, you feed him for the day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for his life. You know, it's an old Chinese proverb, but we we live by that here in our, our campus and our tutoring center. And so we have found that students have come back and they've, they've said to us, you know, I'm so glad that I learned through this. There have been a couple of students that have come back for the next semester for a completely different course and that they want to reutilize our services just because they felt so comfortable and they felt that confidence and felt empowered. But they also knew that they could do it, that we were there as a support. And they've told us that they've said, you know, you are a great support, but I feel like I can do this now. And that's the best thing to have someone to walk away and tell you that. That is the best thing. That's awesome. And you've talked so much today about the partnership. So the last question I have for you is what do faculty say about tutoring? I can take this one because I am faculty. So, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> uh, clearly the most qualified here is, is Tracy, given that she's got a foot in both worlds. Yes. And I will tell you, um, previous to taking on this position, you know, there, there have been times where there have been questions, uh, you know, what exactly is tutoring about? What does tutoring do? And so I know that especially at the statewide level, we've talked about this frequently, and I can even attest at my level, is that faculty are building those connections with the tutoring centers. We are having those conversations about what our students need, because Tim has made this comment multiple times. The faculty are outnumbered in their classes. You're one person and you have anywhere from, you know, 20, 30 students in a classroom at one time. And so you're trying to make sure that you give them 110 percent. Plus, you're trying to make sure that you reach them outside of class hours and you're constantly working with those students because they're your priority. And so when you have a tutoring resource available to you where you feel comfortable and confident sending your students, where you know that you can go and you can talk to the tutoring center and to see what they're you know, offering what they're doing and where you can let them know, hey, this is what I'm doing in my classroom and even, you know, have workshops and, and talk to each other. Those ties are so critical because it helps the students, but it also helps me as a faculty member know that I'm reaching more of my students. And so those connections are imperative and we're building more and more of those across the campuses and we're going to continue focusing on that to make sure that the faculty and the students and the tutoring centers are working together to make sure that those students are successful. I've had the opportunity to work with faculty who serve as course developers for some of the courses that we own. And we have started to see an increase in the number of online courses that require students to submit a rough draft of their paper to tutor.com to get notes, revisions before they submit their final copy um, because they have seen as a faculty in either their online or other modalities that it benefits their students so much. And so they want to make it a requirement for students who may not know that that service is available 
you know, not only to help them with that class, but then also so that they might realize that that can be utilized in other areas, other subjects where they may need support. So I know that our faculty um, that we've worked with in the statewide course development are very appreciative that that resource is there because as you said, Tracy, you know, it's really difficult to, to just know the needs of all of your students. Sometimes you don't always get to see that until it's too late. So having um, that resource available to, to help our students and then to communicate anything that you as an instructor may need to know so that you can continue that support um, is just so valuable for our faculty. Well, and see, I actually put an announcement in my Ivy Learn that tells students that I will have an assignment for them and they can use the Campus Tutoring Center or tutor.com depending upon their need. And so for me as a faculty Mm -hmm. member, because I start to identify the needs and I'm teaching the class and I'm trying to make sure that I I get everybody taken care of. But again, that resource is invaluable. So whether they go to tutor.com or whether they work with a tutoring center, they're still going to have that benefit then. And so that's at least what I do in my classroom is I open up the option to both. And so you're absolutely right. Having that option of tutor.com for that student that wouldn't otherwise be able to take and go to the campus is very important even in my classrooms. That is awesome. I have loved this conversation so much. I hope others have as well. Um, And so we end every episode with a call to action. And so today It is to visit ivytech.edu forward slash tutoring. I'll put that in the show notes. Um, That will allow you to learn more about tutoring on each campus and about tutor.com. And when you have a chance to get on campus, visit your campus tutoring center in person or visit them virtually. They are all open right now. So take advantage of that opportunity to visit them, reach out to them, form those relationships because it is that partnership that helps students understand we want them to be successful. And don't forget, Ivy Tech faculty and staff are here for students and our tutors are always eager to help them succeed. Thanks again for joining this episode of Our College Your Voices. I want to thank the members of today's panel, Tracy Bryan, Associate Professor of English and Communication and Department Chair for Student Success, Valparaiso, Michigan City Campus, and the Tutoring Center Coordinator, Gwen Eldridge, Assistant Vice President of Academic Transitions and Support at Systems Office, Madison Gunkel, Executive Director of Instructional Design Services here at Systems Office, and Tim Tappan, Director of Academic Resources at the Fort Wayne Campus. I'm your host, Kara Monroe. You can connect with me on Twitter at KNM Tweets. Our producer is Sarah Ferguson. You can reach us by email at ourcollegeyourvoices at ivytech.edu. Don't forget, if you're an Ivy Tech faculty or staff member, you can join our Microsoft Teams listener community on instructions on that come out every Thursday. Our website where you'll find links to our show notes is ivytech.edu forward slash podcast. Production assistance for this and every episode is provided by Becky Campbell and the Ivy Tech Community College Creative Services team. Our podcast concepts by Matthew Pittman. The music and post-production services provided by Jen Ease at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. We will talk to you next time on Our College, Your Voices. <laughs>